So, for example, in the sentence, she is reading a book, is reading is the head and she, a book, are the dependents. So, unlike phrase structure grammar, which, which builds sentences from a set of rules about ordered subphrases, dependency focuses directly on the relationship between words, making it more straightforward for computational processes. Now, and you have to remember that these large language models, a huge part of their structure was the semantic relationship of words. It plays a huge part in how the content is tokenized, and I'm not going to get into an explanation of tokenized, but how, how tokens are created for the large language model so that it can break it down and convert language into a language or numbers and tokens that the large language model can understand. So this focus makes dependency grammar particularly useful for AI and machine learning, where understanding direct relationships can streamline natural language processing. So this, this concept of dependency grammar and looking at the dependent or the head, the core concept of the phrase or the sentence and its dependence is a huge part of, of why it works with these large language models so effectively, because think about it, that's how it was trained. So let me give you some examples of this dependency uh, language framework explained in a little bit simpler and easier to understand terms.